niggas in my grill trying to phase me. We are just beginning, things will get better as we go on. So, hi everyone, today, welcome to another episode. Today, we are going to be talking about shapes and structure. So, shapes and structure are two parts of the basics that are interwoven, they are pretty much the same thing. But then, shapes and structure go together with one more basic of uh, which is perspective. So, I'm going to be teaching you shapes, structure, and perspective together. But I'll be doing it like maybe shapes, perspective, shapes, perspective. So today I'm going to be teaching you intro into shapes and structure. What shapes are, why they're important, how to look for blocky shapes in your references, all those things. So today is going to be a basic intro. I'll be introducing you to the shapes that pretty much everything in life is made of, made up of the basic shapes. Then we're going to go further in and talk about um drawing some of these shapes in perspective yes i'm going to draw some of them in perspective i'll show you how to draw them in perspective correctly but just the basic shapes so you guys practice that for this week so next week i'll give you an intro to perspective so that i can better understand how to draw these shapes and give them structure and upper week we'll come back to structure again shapes and structure so that we learn how to manipulate shapes and all that so the thing that the reason why I'm, I want to teach you this basic is that it's going to help you look at your reference differently. You no, know, like let's say you're a beginner artist now. I'm not so far, I don't consider myself a pro because I'm still a beginner. I learn every day. I still do studies every day. So um hopefully by the time I'm done with this video, you are going to have learned a lot on structure and you'll be able to manipulate shapes so it's not just this video it's going to be a series this perspective and structure is going to take a while before i finish it hopefully if depression doesn't kill my vibe so let's just get started my phone stand has broken so we're going to have to manage you guys are going to have to bear with me we're going to have to manage ourselves like this so most of the tutorials I'm going to be doing is going to be digital because I can't record myself drawing for you guys. So I hope you guys can manage. But everything, all the, the concept and everything that I'm going to be giving you guys is going to be applicable in your traditional way. So get your printer, paper and your pencil ready. Let's get started so let's get started so basically as an artist your job is to be able to simplify things into basic shapes so that you can understand them better simplification helps you understand the base of what you are of what you are drawing so that you can build on it so if you understand the base well enough you can either improve it but basic shapes are two-dimensional they don't have any perspective so that's why we add structure to it. We add perspective and three-dimensionality to give a sense of depth and originality. Like what the figure on the two-dimensional surface is three-dimensional. It's actually pretty amazing if you look at it. Like a, it's an illusion. It's not real. Basic um, three-dimensional structural shapes that we're going to be dealing with that can form anything no matter what you are drawing can be broken down into these shapes or a modification of these shapes there are spheres cubes and cylinders these shapes can be altered in a number of ways like spheres can be stretched or squashed cubes can be elongated or you can twist them you can even taper them and at its extreme it will give you a pyramid cylinders can also be distorted they can be twisted they can be bent they can be tapered and at their extreme they will give you a cone so perspective and structure perspective isn't and i will go more in depth in another video but for this video i'm just going to show you how to draw shapes in basic shapes in perspective so a sphere doesn't have any planes 
so it doesn't show it doesn't really show perspective the only way to show its three-dimensionality is to give it tone and to show you its depth in an image is to increase or decrease the size but when you stretch a sphere it, turns, it, it cannot be show the top or uh, the top plane of a surface and it can show what angle the plane is tilting towards the cylinder introduces perspective because it has a top and bottom plane an oval an oval for the top and an oval for the bottom and tapered lines to show the form receding into the background the cube shows even shows the most perspective because it has visible top bottom and side planes so let's get into some drawing let us draw a cube in perspective i'm going to be stealing some steps that i learned from one of poker videos guys so let's start with the step-by-step -step approach the first step is draw the most vertical line of the inside edge of the box this helps us decide what side the box is tilting towards then you decide if you want to see the top or you want to see the bottom of the box so let's go with we're saying the bottom of the box then connect all the converging lines Notes, you can control how much of the top or the bottom you see by altering the top the angle between the top or the two lines you can also control how much of the side plane you want to see by manipulating the length of the lines of the lines so your assignment for this week is to practice drawing cylinders and spheres in perspective fill up as many pages of printer paper as possible i hope you've gotten your printer paper your printer paper so next week we are going to be doing an intro to perspective in that video i will show you all the terminologies relating to perspective so that you can understand the beginning so you understand how to draw these shapes in perspective better then upper week we'll move to manipulation of shapes